So here's how you do long division. First thing, we divide. Four goes into six one time. Then we multiply. One times four is four. Then we subtract. Six minus four is two. And four doesn't go into two. So now we bring down, bring that two down here, and we're back at the top. Four goes into 22. Let's see, five times four is 20. We subtract and we get two. Four doesn't go into two and there's nothing to bring down. So here's how I think about it. 62 is the same as 62.0. So let's put a decimal point up here and we can bring that zero down. Now four goes into 20 five times. Five times four is 20 and you subtract zero, no remainder, you're done. So four goes into 62, 15.5 times. Four times 15.5 is 62 if you wanna check your work. So pause and give this a try. Divide 30 by four using long division. Pause, give it a try. And you're done. And it's that same process. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and do it again. Let's try one that gives us some decimals here. So four doesn't go into three. So let's put a decimal point here and put a zero. Let's put a decimal point up here and we'll put a zero in front so we don't forget that's here. So now seven times four, that would give us 28. 30 minus 28 is two. Four doesn't go into two. What we can do is put another zero here because 3.00, that's still three, right? Bring that down. We're going to move over a decimal place. And now four goes into 25 times. Five times four is 20. Subtract, no remainder, and we're done. So four goes into three, 0 0.75 times. 0 0.75 times four, that'll give you three. Okay, pause, and now you try one. How many times does five go into three? And we're done. Five times 0.6, that gives us three. So three divided by five is 0 0.6. Same deal pretty much every time. So that's how you do long division. I hope this helped. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.